when I was like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore, we just stopped and focused on something else. And I, I think, uh, I think if anyone here is making stuff and you know, you're starting to do it, but you don't feel it anymore. It's super fire to just stop. Like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's okay. And just go do something else. Cause you're not married to it. Um, in the literal sense, but also like, you don't have to be married to ideas because it's there. It's like, put it to the side. So, okay. 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 I don't want it to sit in your closet. I you want you to wear it. it and dirty it up and live in it and have an orgy in it and write a song. Um, I've always been a figure it out mm. type of guy. Even when I was a kid, I couldn't screen print t-shirts. So I went to office max and bought the iron on stuff Yo. and saved money up to buy the good ink yeah printed those designs ironed it on on a few t-shirts sold those would do that to garner up enough money to actually get the first one screen printed wow. so like everything is figure outable it just depends on if you mm -hmm. have the energy to do mm -hmm. that that's that's willpower right there yeah. like, and creative right like you yeah. figure out the resources everything is figure outable it's just like you gotta figure that out you know shutting things down I i've worked with people where it's like yo what if we do this and then they already edit in their head and mm -hmm. then they're like oh someone said no to something like that before so i don't know well this way and i'm like bro get out the gutter worst coming to worst it's a no but let's at least try and then fail mm -hmm. and with converse it's like man we had so many different ideas that didn't work and it's okay because all of that got us to this one end result that doesn't even have anything to do with it, but mm. you just learn along the way and see the, <laughs> in order to know what to do, but some people try to know what to do before they see the shit and it just fully hinders mm. everything. And I'm just, I'm so, I don't get embarrassed. So I'm so okay with failing and f***ing up and saying, oh, well, that didn't work, what's next? And surrounding yourself with people like that is the illish. Where does that come from for you? Like you? When, oh, I like, don't know. I'm I was just you know born I mean? this way. You know, like you just like you just like you go like it, you don't have like that apprehension. Well, it's me. and My friend talk about it all the time. It's like nature versus nurture. Mm -hmm. Just that idea, and I've just always been a super curious. Okay, what's that over there? Like I hosted my kindergarten graduation. Like I was the MC, it wasn't a teacher. Like I was like, all right guys, that was the dance class. Up next, we have Ron that's gonna show us a magic trick before we get to the ceremony. Like that was me. So I've always been like yeah, that guy. You don't know um, any different. Yeah, I just, it's just me. And you know, some people are more quiet and reserved and observant mm -hmm. and some people are center of attention da, da, da. and the nurturing part from that is just like, I had a mother who was like, yeah, go on. Gonna dance, <laughs> gonna do this, and it just says, "Oh, okay, f it," and you just keep growing up with that, that energy, that thought, that, um, just like that. So then, when it comes to like uh, having like aspirations or dreams or mm. goals, growing up, not worrying about what other people think or knowing you yeah. could just do it. It goes to that. So it's like, I'm going to do that in 10 years. And then when it happens, people are like, how did that happen? And it's like, I don't know. It's I've just, that. that's just how I think. I just make stuff. <laughs> I just make stuff I like at the time. And, you know, I think as you get older, things get more refined and yeah. you become more of a sniper with your things if you want. But I think I just become more of a sniper of what I'm trying to do. And I think I live life. Yeah. Like I go and do stuff and it's shown in my work. Yeah. So whether it's shown in my work through sound or through cloth mm -hmm. or through visual stuff, it feels cohesive because of that, mm -hmm. because I'm just, that, that's what it is, so. Right, right. It's basically like your lifestyle translated into your art. Pretty much. At least that shows I'm not a liar. <laughs> or your whole life is a lie. Or my whole life is a lie. I'm fucking really good. Yeah, dude, like, and we could put this on the shirt and then, no, when I go on stage, cause we're performing at a church, I'm gonna pull my pants down and hump the <laughs> air. And that man is right there like, all right, I'm right there with you. <laughs> and what that is, is everyone wants a cheerleader, which just goes back to if I walk in Converse and I'm like, yo, 
I know no one's going to buy this, but let's do an all silver shoe that looks like 3M that on the jackets construction workers wear. And they're like, all right, f*** it, let's do it. <laughs> and you need that. You need yeah. cheerleaders. Everyone wants a cheerleader. Absolutely. All the all the Lafleur stuff that I've been making, the clothes, I don't want to sell online because I want people to go to the stores and actually see it in person and touch it and then make the decision that they want it. And when I did the store in uh, Malibu on the mountain, every time a kid bought something, I pulled them to the side and I said, wear this. <laughs> don't keep it in a closet hung up. Don't keep it folded up, blah, blah, blah. Wear it live in it, have an orgy in it, get beat up in it, like wear it because we're at a time where like things don't hold personal value anymore. It's now for other people. Even, even, um, even a conversation of music now has changed. People just say something's mid, but they can't articulate why they don't like it. Mm. They don't have the vocabulary or the energy or the actual care. People don't even like m mostly talk about why they love the they actually like either. And I'm hoping we get back to a point where like when you do open your mouth, it is because you truly give a f about it, whether you dislike it or you truly love it. And I see the I see the mix with music and clothing in that same realm. So I'm just I think I really think the Internet ramped up in 2016. Like something happened and just phew. And because of that, like, it's no more privacy. Yeah. Everyone wants to know something. Everyone wants a leak. Everyone wants to just know things. Nothing could be a surprise. And if I sit here and tell you what we have planned or what da 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 da, then it's no point in really working on how to even show you. Yeah. Like, the element of surprise is fun. The, the initial, oh, I hate this or Ugh, I like this, it will get lost if I'm like, yo, in three months, I'm putting out an orange shirt. And then when I put it out, when I put it out, you knew it was gonna come, so it's, that excitement is gone. So I can't even answer that question. That's fair. That Instant gratification is not always not the true. homie. Forms of like insecurity to me. When artists put a snippet up of a song on the internet and wait to see how people react to it and let the let the crowdsourcing of opinion dictate if they're gonna put that out. How do you not like your own song enough to put it out? How do you mm. wait to, oh, they not with it? We'll scratch it. Oh, they with it? All right, let's rush and, 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 keep, and keep doing that and then shoot a video for it. It's like, no, just put this out. Like, what? No. <laughs> how like when be like, yo, sneak peek. <laughs> and it's a sample. It's a sample that's not going to come out for nine months. I know yeah. how shoes work. Yeah, you know how it works. And then, like, if people are like, ooh, this ain't it. And then that they one go never away. comes out, right. then they rework. But it's like, bro, have confidence in your mm. shit. Like, I, I, hate, I hate the leak snippet. Oh, this is what I'm working on, sneak peek. Shit. Like, bro, just put the shit out when it's done and go 100%. Mm. Hey, have confidence in what you're going to put That's out. That's how I do with music. You don't see me like, yo, new album coming in eight months. I shut the <laughs> up till it's done. <laughs> and then one day I pop the <laughs> out. You either like it or not, but I'm going full force with that shit. And bam. <laughs> a version of this stuff for a while. People were like, oh, he rode the bike. So sweet. I do that all the time. <laughs> but like, it's more nuanced. It was an ill moment. But like, yeah, I pretty, I just do. I like, and I've always done things I like. Yeah.